In this video, we will discuss how to replace the hub and wheel bearing on a BMW i3. Um, this is the rear hub that we'll be talking about. Um, I will admit my video is not the greatest, I'm not a mechanic. There are some tools that you will definitely need to do this that most of us probably don't just have. Um, they include um, a T60 Torx driver for the bolts that hold in the hub. You will also need an M17 um, hex driver to remove the main axle bolt. Um, you may have an M6 and M7 driver. Those are for the brake rotor and the brake caliper. Um, finally, um, an impact driver and various um, wobble head extensions would be very helpful for this project. All right, let's get going. My vehicle has about 127,000 miles. Um, there's actually nothing wrong with the wheel bearing. However, um, one of the hubs, I broke off a lug bolt, removing it, and then when I tried to drill it out, I still was not able to remove the broken bolt stud. So we'll have to replace the bearing to take care of that. Step one, obviously remove the wheel. Step two will be to remove the brake caliper and brake caliper bracket. All right, as always, make sure you hang up your caliper. To not put any weight on the brake hose. Okay, so here's a neat trick. Um, just found out once you remove the bolt for the brake rotor, you can actually remove the rotor without removing the bracket. So that'll save you a little step there. Okay, with the brake rotor off, the next step is to remove the shield. Off, the next step is to remove the hub. There are four bolts holding in the hub that are held in with a, a T60 Torx head that you will need to remove them. Also recommend using a wobble extension. Okay, now we get to the fun part. Um, we're gonna remove the axle nut, our impact driver. And then we're gonna hit it a couple times with a sledgehammer to knock it loose. And we have our hub off. Gonna clean off everything here nicely with our wire brush.
We have our replacement hub that I bought from eBay for $60. There is definitely a front, back, top, and bottom. The bottom lines up with this here. Make sure when you put everything back together to torque everything down with a torque wrench. The hub bolts are 41 foot pounds. The main axle nut is 134 foot-pounds.